Oh, hey, everybody. I'm Blitz, and this right here is my very best friend in the entire world. His name is Kevin. He's so excited to bring you and his bus full of his favorite friends along with today's video. Unfortunately, Kevin can't read, and he just says, Top. <laughs> How did he get... It was kind of rough. Oh, no! <laughs> Everyone's... Oh! Oh, no! Oh! Okay. Um, that was rough. Um, yikes. <laughs> you know, the bus is on fire. Wow. Um, I'm just gonna delete that. Yep, there we go. Uh-huh, yeah, uh uh-huh. Wow. Kevin's a really, really good driver. Unfortunately, Kevin has a hard time with reading. Yeah, that whole stop thing, it doesn't work out too good for him. <laughs> Why is it stuck? <laughs> go, little bus, go! You can make it! I feel like I just gotta clean up. It doesn't like driving over concrete pillars. Dude, bus bro, would you stop that? There you go. I'll bet. Nope. <laughs> no, it's super stuck. There you go. Wow! No, not that way! Here, just turn her. Oh, my word. <laughs> Poor bus. What happened to you? Oh, no. Whoa! Oh! Oh, no! Bus? Oh! I got an idea. It was that. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Kevin's gone. I can't even undo it. No! I promise you, though, that is not how I wanted to start the video. I wanted to start the video like this by driving over a whole bunch of landmines because I thought that'd be kind of exciting. You know, there is something fun about dropping landmines and watching a bus hit. I'm like, BOOM! <laughs> and then we can just make... How is it working so well? How is it working? Everyone's still alive on the bus! I wonder if they'll survive this one. And BOOM! <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, the poor bus. There's only one thing to do now. Oh, wow, this is going so fast. Is to hit it with this thing. Okay, and BOOM! That didn't work. How about a bigger one? Should we use... There's the nuke. I forgot where you were. There's the nuke. Oh, my. You hit the wall. <laughs> it flew the other way. Why is that so exciting? Oh, it flew to the other side of the world. Is it going to fly back? Wow. We're going to put it into orbit. Where the black holes live. Speaking of black holes, here's one. No! <laughs> You're trying to leave bus, but you can't be sucked into the dark. Wow! <laughs> it just got bounced the other way. Thankfully, I put a decimator on the back of it. So if it hits anything now, it gets deleted. Up, oh, I think... <laughs> the decimator just decimated the, um, the actual bus. I don't know how that works, but it's kind of fun when that happens. Check this out. Schnoik! <laughs> <laughs> and then we can pick it up. Oh, that's not pick up button. This one is. We'll pick it up and we'll go. They're gone. Just like that. Everyone disappeared. So yeah, you might have noticed. There's the new thing, like the landmines. They're new in the game. There's also the signal flares. I don't know why we need signal flares, but they start things on fire, so that makes it fun. There's also this thing. The staff van stinker loss. No idea what it does. No clue. We need to give a Kevin one. Here, Kevin, you hold this for a little bit. It'll be fun, I promise. I think. And click. It's heavy. Um, what's it? What? What does it do? I don't know German. Huh. <laughs> well, I wonder if it can bludgeon people. Let's see. Here, Kevin, find your friend Kevin and shrink. Kind of. I wonder if it has any special powers, like activation. Power. Nope, it doesn't. It just has clubbing powers. And... BOOM! There was another item that was added to the game. If we put a Kevin down in here... That's the wrong way, Kevin. You gotta lay down now. How do I get him to lay down? Is it... I know how to get him to lay down. I do. If I go in here, there's one called the knockout syringe. It's... Oh. I think it hit his foot. Oh, no! Kevin! <gasps> I knocked him out. I didn't want to do that. Just kidding. I really did. Yeah, you lay down right here, buddy. You'll be okay. Everything's gonna be just fine. Everything is gonna be just fine. You won't even know if you do wake up. Oh, it's beautiful. There you go, Kevin. Yes. Now what happens if I give him uh, like a wake up syringe? Is that the adrenaline one? There's the adrenaline. That's the wrong button again. I just wanna see. I almost feel bad for him. Just kidding. Oh, and right in the leg. No, why does that not work? Okay, he's waking up. He's waking up. Just one of his legs woke up, though, because he's stuck to the bed, which is perfect, because our lovely assistant here needs to connect the old blood transfer wire right to the foot. There we go. And now we're going to pull it out. There. It's beautiful. We just need to see if Kevin's alive. I did connect a wire. Do I have to connect the other one? This one? Like that? There he goes. 
He is alive. This is good news. He is alive. He's got a heartbeat for a little bit longer. I'll just kind of drain that out on the floor. He doesn't need it all. And then another item was developed this time. <laughs> I don't really know what it does because I haven't played with it yet, but I thought it would be fun. It is called a defib... Uh oh We need to... Hmm. Maybe just kind of make it up here. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. We'll just spawn it over his head. That'll work better. Yeah. Okay. If I turn it on, stand by. Okay. We can do this. Clear. Ready? He's not dead yet, but he will be in a second. And... Okay, does it work? Stand by. Okay, got it. Clear. Bam! <laughs> it, it shocked the whole bed. That was kind of fun. We need to turn this on to make sure he's going to live. So we've successfully killed Kevin. Stand by. Clear. <laughs> it brings him back. Oh, this is so sad. I need to give him his blood back. Idle. Drain. No, push. Come on. Kevin, stay alive with me. Yes. 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 He's alive. He's living. He's alive. He's getting his blood back. We've brought him back to life. He has a heartbeat again. Nice. <laughs> that was cool. I don't need this. Wait. What happens if I... This is bad news. Okay, wait. Hold on. We need to take that out again. I'm sorry, Kevin. I didn't mean for you to be my crush this dummy today. What is that? A dampening box? That sounds fun. Okay. We gotta we gotta oversize this now. We're gonna put a wire in. We're gonna connect the wire to the defibrillator and crank. Oh, no! Oh, oh dang. That was terrible. Oh, Oh no. Note to self, do not turn on the generator in a metal room. It This kills the Kevin. We'll give him his blood back. Does that work? Would you shut up? You're too loud. I'm trying to push the blood back in. We should see if the defibrillator works now. If I can find it, which I can. Come on, Kevin. Come on. Come back to me, buddy. Come back to me. Turn that back on and stand by. Clear. Uh, yes, yes, he's alive. Not for long. Do it again. Do it again. Oh no. What did I do? Come on. Come on. Get that heart beating, buddy. Give me the life. Give me the life syringe. I think this will work. This is what happens when you play a doctor and you're not a trained doctor. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. It's working. It's working. He's got a pulse. He's alive. He's alive. <laughs> You should be Frankenstein, though. Okay, that was a fun experiment, Kevin. I'm so sorry. Are you going to be okay? Are you going to be all right? He's like, oh, my word. I had the worst dream ever. And then I said that wasn't quite the worst dream ever. <laughs> the worst dream is getting, like, in a room full of fireworks, and it starts on fire, and then somebody drops a nuke and explodes right in your face. Yeah, that would be the worst dream ever. But then you wake up from the dream, and you realize you only have legs left. Oh. Huh. You'll be all right. Oh, there's that thing. Of course, how could I forget about that? Oh, there's the hospital room. Kevin also has this knack for touching things where he knows he shouldn't touch them, but he likes really touching buttons a lot. There we go. Give me your arm, you dork. Can I just hold your hand for a second? Do I have to delete you and spawn one of your friends? There we go. No, give me. Would you touch the button? Fine, touch it with your face. Just touch it with your face. Oh! <laughs> it worked. Oh no, it's on fire. Yeah, they added this to the game too, which I'm kind of pleased about. I don't really know what it does, but I love it. It's like a detached thing, and there's more of them. A detached beam cannon. There's also the detached 120 mil cannon and the laser cannon. Check this beast out. <laughs> I love it. I wish I could put it on a tank, because the tank, let's be honest, the tank cannon's pretty boring. It's just It just goes bump, bump. But I can't delete just the cannon, so what I'll do is I pause the game and then I just kind of move that somewhere like I don't care about it and then I come back in here and I'm like hey girl what's your name and then I bring in the attached tank cannon like this and I resize it like such as this and then we have a giganto tank firing laser beam but it's not really right so I have to freeze it and then just pretend yeah that was a lot of words but I think Kevin likes it which Kevin should I use Maybe the, the, this one, the crash test dummy. We're gonna make him bigger because crash test dummies, they can afford to be any size we want them to be. There you go. How's this feel? We're gonna launch in 10, nine, now. Ooh. <laughs> that was pretty exciting. Do it again. Hey, get up here. Ready, get set, and freeze you in place. And 
<laughs> I love this tank. It's so cool. But you're about to say, hey, Blitz, you dork. You put this title and thumbnail as Henry Stickman's airship. And yeah, you're right, I did. But I wanted to show you some of the cool new things in the game. But look at this. Somebody actually went through all of the trouble and made the airship from Henry Stickman. Isn't this place cool? Like, it's gigantic. It's really big. Like, to put this in comparison, here's the Top Hat Clan in here. Look at this. We got the right-hand man and everyone. This guy's wearing two hats. That's really cool. There's the elevators that go up. And you're probably saying, what about the cockpit and all of the stuff? But we have storage back here. Can't wait to play this map again in Among Us. And then we have this one, which is kind of the same. Look at this one. It's the same thing. Why did I post the same one? Do this one. Yeah, look at the other way, though. Look left. Uh-oh. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> yes. What is that? Oh. <gasps> They're actually, it's actually loading. Henry can't wait to sit down and have some fun playing around. Here you go, bud. Yeah. And then press the thingy. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. And there's the whole Top Hat Clan right here in the old cockpit. I think our old pal Henry, Henry Kevin Stickman needs to infiltrate the airship. Yes, okay. You have an option. You have reached a door, Henry. What do you choose next? Do you choose the bomb, the disassembler, or the chainsaw? So you decided the bomb. Let's see if that was a good decision, Henry. No, that was not the right decision. Somehow he lived though. I'm not sure how Henry lived on that one. So Henry chose the disassembler. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, oh, that, that could go, oh, that, that could go wrong. Henry just became one with the gun and he walked his way, he walked his way into the elevator. Huh, this was the proper decision <laughs> I have no idea what's happening I'll be honest I didn't plan that oh no he did disassemble oh that's too bad Henry has chosen the chainsaw oh it actually works you hear it going that's cool here you go oh no don't what is what did go away you got in my way there we go <laughs> he cut his way through the door good job Henry now you have to figure out how to get up the elevator shaft when the elevator's not here. The elevator is stuck and broken in a case in a state of stuck and brokenness. So Henry's next choice, does he use the human launcher, the th rocket thruster, or the car? That's a very good question. Henry has decided to use the rocket thruster. He feels like it's a good idea to rocket himself all the way up. So we'll just strap him in and let him fly. <laughs> it's working. And oh no, it's not, oh, hey. Well, he kind of made it up to the top. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> I kind of want to play with it a little more. Does he make it? Is he make it into the headquarters? Does he make it into the airship? Woohoo! Nope, nope, nope. Kind of, kind of. He's nope. He didn't make it. <laughs> and he made it back down to the bottom. That's a fail. Henry's second option is to use the rocket launcher, or it's actually called a human launcher. Because why not? So we'll strap that in to his hands, and we'll go like this, and boominga. Oh, he's just, he's just cloning himself. Henry, why are you cloning yourself? Oh no, this is bad. Oh, oh, poor Henry and his friends. So I guess the only other option is the car. You're a smart man, Henry. You're a smart man. Just driving your car straight up the elevator shaft. What a wise man indeed. Well, Kevin, you're a wise man. You made it all the way up to the cockpit without being noticed by the Top Hat Clan. How will you take them out? Well, you have four options this time, Henry. You have the silent crossbow, a fire extinguisher, a pocket-sized thermonuclear warhead, or an ion cannon. What should we try first? Ah, uh, yes, the thermonuclear warhead. What an interesting decision. Just throw that in there and let it explode right on the top of everyone in the cockpit. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, except, you know, we just break the space-time continuum. That was a bad decision, Henry. So next up, you really want to play with the fire extinguisher. Interesting choice, my friend. Just casually walking up to the Top Hat Clan. Why is this on the outside? I don't like it when it's on the outside. Hello, fellow Top Hatters. Yeah, we'll just give me... No, no. Well, fine. Just delete that. We don't need that. Or this right now. We don't need that either. We're trying to... We're trying to have fun. Thank you, game. Finally. And... Activate. It's not working. Why would you think that would work, Henry? And it seems to have just destroyed your leg somehow. Um, Henry, you gonna make it? You gonna, you gonna make it? 
Ah, this is the choice I would have made. You're right, Henry. Good decision. What could possibly go wrong with an ion cannon? And whoop. Ooh. I like it. <laughs> Except it only had two charges. And everyone's still there. Why doesn't it have more than two charges? Why didn't it kill people? Aw. A very wise decision, Henry. Let's go ahead and use the crossbow. Oh, that did really good. Really good work. Nice. We can just snipe him. We just shot through a guy. I don't know how that worked. <laughs> yeah. We'll just bombard everyone. There you go. Oh, we took out the right-hand man. Let's see if we can just lob some over there. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, no. Oh, oh. The leader is gone. And these dudes are like, I just give up, man. I just give up. Top hat clan's yours. And then Henry won. <laughs> that was a fun little experiment. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed our video of Henry Stickman in Among Us today. If you did, let me know and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.